guys, it's Claire from Woodshed Theory and I am here today because of a picture that I saw online. I think that most of you have probably seen it already, um, but just in case you haven't, I will put it right here. Is it there? So our beloved Tarjay has put out a line of prairie dresses, like in a weird style. I'd say that from what I know of history, it's kind of the pioneers do 1970s with some of the prints. Um, but regardless, it's turned into this huge meme online because what were they thinking? Now, I want to be nice. I know that there are some people who love this kind of Laura Ashley vibe. I did decide that I wanted to make the pandemic dress from Target for myself. Really because when I saw the picture of the dress, I was very inspired. It really made me think of those TV shows, Little House on the Prairie, Anne of Green Gables type of shows where if they wanted to make a dress, they had to go pick out this stiff cotton fabric from the general store and then make it at home. And I just thought that that idea was so funny and so novel that I would give it a shot. Uh, so I went ahead and started by going to Joann's and picking out my fabric and we're going to watch that right now. Okay, so I think we're going to do body in this one, trim in this one, apron in this one. We'll see. It's pandemic dress day. First thing I wanted to do is walk y'all through everything I picked up for this project. Uh, I think it ended up costing me almost about 60, maybe 70 USD to buy all of this um, material. So I would highly suggest <laughs> maybe just buying one if you're not into sewing. I did find the, from what I could see, exact matching fabric in the green shade as the Target dress that I was looking at, um, the blue Target dress in the photo. And then for the uh, trim, I got a darker, smaller print of basically the same fabric, but the print is smaller. And I think I ended up getting about a half yard of that and four and a half or five yards of the bigger print. Later on in another video, I will be making an apron to go with this dress. So I picked up some faux linen. I think I got about a yard and a half of that. I also bought about four yards of this beautiful crocheted lace. Of Initially, it was going to go on the dress, but I then decided maybe it wasn't the right look, so maybe I'll use it for another project, not sure yet. And then, yes, I also got a, it's not going to zoom. There it is. I also got a smaller crocheted lace trim, which did end up going onto the dress, and some wooden buttons because you know, we're nothing if not historically accurate. And also some bias tape to finish off the seams inside. And some embroidery thread to finish off the buttonholes on the front of the dress. Let's get going. I put jeans on for the first time in the pandemic just to film this. So they still fit. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Um, I did just start by measuring out how big I wanted the 
uh, dress to be on my body. It is a quite loose fit in the picture, so I wanted to make sure I was getting enough uh, room out for the skirt. Then I laid it on the floor and cut it all out. everything right side together so that you can do the French seam for the skirt and that way the inside seams will be finished and you'll be able to wash it if you need to. up the side seams of the skirt right side together first before turning it out and sewing it up in the inside you might notice I am singing to myself I think that's pretty funny but you can't hear me now because I am recording a voiceover I love a good ironing montage. part of the project where I got to cut out all the ruffles for the bottom of the skirt. Doing that right now before I seam them all up and ruche them together and sew them to the bottom of the shell that I just made. Thank you. 
looks so good. Look how good that looks. Done, I moved on to the mathematical conundrum of trying to put the top together. I had an old work shirt that was very similar to what was going on in the picture. So I took up some measurements and just tried to copy it the best I could, um, making changes where I thought I needed to. Uh, but it turned out being a pretty good fit, um, especially for what the original design had entailed. strip of interfacing to the front panel on the blouse portion. I just wanted some extra stability for when I put on the buttons. everything right side together so that we can do French seams on the, the last portion of the dress as well. the collar I wasn't sure how I was going to tackle it so I took some old felt that I had from a previous project and I basically put it on top of the shirt I was looking to replicate and traced it and cut it out and used that shape as my pattern something like that I pinned the two pieces for the collar right side together and also added some trim in there so that when I folded out the collar it would stick out from the top. Then I went around and pinned the collar um, on the outside of the dress and I off screen 
um, sewed that with the sewing machine and then um, also off screen stitched the inside of the collar to the inside of the dress by hand. This was the final day of the sewing project and I wanted to do a quick recap because I got really tired by the end of the second night and didn't film everything. So here you're looking at the shell of the um, bodice for the dress and currently I have everything sewn together except for the sleeves and this is the skirt it's also finished inside and that is also finished except for ruching the top and sewing it on to the shirt here's a good view of the finished collar open you can see i used the machine to stitch the top of the collar and then folded it in on the inside and used a whip stitch to sew it to the inside of the dress. So now it's completely finished. Pretty proud of that. Now we are sewing the ruffle detail to this top of the sleeves before we start working on the sleeves themselves. This process was very similar to putting the collar on so I didn't film all of it. Then I did some more math and worked my best to figure out how big I would need to make the sleeve pattern so that it still had a little bit of puff on the top of it. folded up the cuffs of both sleeves and finished them off with some bias binding. And I added some of the lace trim to the cuffs of the sleeves as well to match the neck. I sewed these sleeves together, right side together, and flipped them out and sewed them again to create a French seam on the sleeves. this part easing in the sleeves so I'm just ruching the tops of the sleeves and then pinning them into the shell of the dress and sewing them in. attach the skirt to the top so I'm going along the top of the skirt with a running stitch and I'm going to put two lines of running stitch very close to each other as you can see here and I'm going to use that to make the bottom of the dress the same size as the top of the dress and then I can sew them together
much. I just have to pin the top to the bottom and get them sewn together, finish that inside seam with some bias binding, and then we are in business. doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty similar to the picture, so I'm pretty happy with it. The last thing that I'm going to need to do is figure out the buttons, so I'm going along and measuring out where I am going to put them. This is me stitching up the buttonholes. You'll notice I keep taking a break to look at my computer screen because I had never done anything like this before. My tip is probably don't start with the buttonhole on the top if you've never done that. Start with the one on the bottom. After I got all of the materials together, I was pretty sure I could get this knocked out in a day. I had looked into the dress and the shape of the dress and I thought it's pretty easy, I'll probably be fine. But to be honest, it's been a really long time since I've made any clothing and I've never made anything completely finished the way that uh, this dress is finished, so it did take about, I'd say, two and a half days to complete, but I'm very happy with the outcome. Um, it's hard to say that I'm happy with the dress because it is not my style. I'll insert some footage of me trying it on for you. Um, it's just very boxy and I'm not sure that it's a flattering style for me, especially the drop waist. Um, but a lot of people, uh, I was reading through the comments on the dress on, on Target's website and people were going crazy over it. A lot of the reviews were, hey, people are making fun of this dress, but I love this dress. I wanna wear more dresses like this, put out more dresses like this. I'm taking it seriously. So guys, I am so grateful that you tuned in to watch me make my Target pandemic dress. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me to make more content. If you like the style of this video, please hang tight because next time I'm going to take this look back where it belongs. Uh, this time I really wanted to do it the way that Target had it styled and see if I can make it look good. Jury's out for me. I I'm not sure that it's, it's something that I would wear out. But if you like it, then I would totally suggest you go ahead and pick one up. Um, I know that they're selling right now on eBay and Poshmark and websites like that, um, but they don't, I think, any longer have the original dresses in store. But I hope that you have a great day and that you enjoy the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon. Well, I have to go churn some butter, so I will see you next time.